All right, what's going on, people? It's your boy Theo. This is a real talk. So, um, Edward Colston, the statue. Um, let me t tell you what I think about um, the statue being brought down at the Black Lives Matter um, protest in Bristol. Um, now, a lot of people would say it's vandalism. Um, and people would say there's a legal, a legal way to do it. And there's a democratic way of doing it. But like the way I see it is this. I wouldn't want my hometown to feature somebody who has um, made a mark in history like that. Being a slave trader. Being a slave trader. All right. Like at the end of the day, I think that we should be. We should actually obviously hold the people that held my ancestors, my ancestors, to a degree of suffering, a great degree of suffering for years, for hundreds of years, you know? And and every time I watch Roots, every time I watch uh, 12 Years a Slave, I cry because of the fact that of my ancestors having to go through all of that. So bringing the statue down... Um, I can understand where the vandalism side has come from. I've seen the vandalism that's going down in, in London. I've seen it in the Cenotaph, um, Winston Churchill. I know that there's a debate there to, to be had. And I understand that when it's when this is protest, the protest should be a peaceful thing. I agree with that. But sometimes in this instance, you got to take the law into your own hands. I understand um, that... The people of Bristol was trying to get that statue removed for a long time and and to no avail it's not happened until now. So it's, it's so yeah, I, I just think that it to me what I th what I think about it is this. I think that the statue does need to come down because we need we need heroes. We need to, to we need heroes and 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 Edward Colston, I, as as much as he's put um, uh, Bristol on the map with his philanthropy, he's still a slave trader. You know, he has been involved in in causing my ancestors a load of suffering, and I don't like that. You know, so so yeah, that's what I have to what I have to say on it. Um, but yeah, like I know that a lot of people was gonna have this whole debate and 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 whatnot. But you know, and I'm so glad being born from Birmingham, born and raised in Birmingham. I'm so glad that I don't have um any anybody that's actually involved in the slave trade. Um, as far as I can think of, the leading people that's put my my hometown on the map. Um. I can't think of any. I don't think so. I'd be very, very surprised if it were, if 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 um if I heard the names of Joseph T Chamberlain has been involved in a slave train. You know, I I don't know, I don't know. Um, but these protests are still going to continue. These protests are are going to continue, and obviously we're going to keep the our voices heard, and we're going to keep going. We're going to have to, but. I don't want it to get into a point where it's going to be a complete war zone. I don't want it to be, a, I don't want it to be as chaotic, a chaotic, you know, um, as people would think that it will, it will get, you know, um, I've seen what happened in London. I, I've got to talk about what happened in London as well. Um, with the horse, I've seen, I've seen videos like, you know, I would feel, if I was there, if, if there was a police and there was horses charging up to me, um, and especially how it went down like that, and then it all kicked off, that was just a bunch of a bunch of craziness right there. To be honest, it was fine until that moment. Um, but I don't know what happened because I was nowhere near there. So um, I, you know, I just think that it was just it was just kind of crazy. Um, but I did see beautiful protests i've seen solidarity you know over in america and obviously here in 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 the uk as well i know that there's one in in wolverhampton um wolverhampton i 
I've got so much respect for because I've studied there. I studied university there. Uh, I, I went there to study um, IT and, um, you know, I got so much love for the town and there was a peaceful peaceful protest that went down. There was over a thousand people that were, that attended. So, yeah, but yeah, like I say, these protests are still coming. I know that there's a protest going down in the, the US Embassy in London. I know that that's that's going down there. But yeah, we got to make our voices heard. We have to make our voices heard. And I know that, you know, we shouldn't resort to, we shouldn't re really resort to vandalism. But what do you do when you want to make a point? When you want to, when you went, when you, when you want to make a serious point, you know, black lives matter. Racism shouldn't be prevalent in society today. It shouldn't be, um, it, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be talked about in 2020. Now, I know in the protests, I know people like there's a pandemic still a lot is still going on. And yes, I would urge people to 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 mask up, um, to bring sanitizers if you can. Um, but honestly, people um, like what I'm seeing so far, the majority of the protests I've seen so far has been nothing short of amazing. There's so many people leaning on to our side there's so many people standing with us and talking about it and speaking out and 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 just wanting to make their voices heard to want to do something because what happened to George Floyd could happen to someone else what happened to Breonna Taylor could happen to somebody else what happened to Eric Gardner could happen to somebody else what happened to Mark Dogan could happen to somebody else what happened to um um uh Stephen Lawrence could happen to somebody else it goes on it goes on. I'm tired of my people suffering. I'm tired of my people having to be oppressed. I'm tired of my people like not given the same opportunities as uh, as, as white people. I know that there's white privilege going there. I'm not going to go into that. But what I'm going to say is that, you know, we should have that opportunity to do things. You know, there should be a more diverse uh, diverse community um and one of the people's leading the way that's actually done that is um alexis um on hand i think i've um, pronounced his name properly forgive me i haven't he's um uh serena williams uh her. he's uh, it's that is serena williams his husband <laughs> uh forgive me so uh and he step and he runs reddit and um he steps he, he had to step down so that you know he wanted to make a point where black people need to um you know get up get above the, the 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 company to get up onto his level you know it's all got to start from somewhere we all got to start helping each other um one of the other things i should talk about as well as well is that um um on on facebook there is a black owned group and and it's great because um you know there's so many individuals businesses coming about to promote themselves um and promote their businesses and you know to 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 be able to support one another and i think it's great because you know um you know we don't support each other as a community um when it comes to certain things to be able to level ourselves up and we should do it we should be able to level us uh, to help level up you know it should it should be happening you know it shouldn't take one person to say, "All right, then I'm going to go in there and break the uh, and break the chain, uh, break the 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 um um the the glass ceiling," you know. Um, but we should be looking to those people and say, "Look, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm go I want to do that," you know. Um, and also in politics, um, I've heard about um Matt Matt Hancock, the health secretary, um. I know, I know he was interviewed by Sophie Ridge this morning on um, Sophie Ridge on Sunday. And um, she was asking how many black people was in cabinet. Now, Matt, Han and Matt Hancock actually didn't answer it properly. You know, he spoke about the Asian um, uh, people that's in the, the cabinet, but there's no black people in, in there. And I think it should be, that there should be a big change towards that. 
to have more black people in there because we need more people to look up to. We need more people that striving. We more we need more success in our community, and that's what I want going forward. That's what I want. So, yeah, I just hope that you know all these all these efforts that we're doing in these protests. I hope that it will incite change because the world can be so much better if we're if 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 people can accept one another it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter where you live you know my like in in my community yes black lives matter and you know and, you know it's time that we as a community should be looked at we should be we, we should be celebrated we should be honored we should be praised you know, but it's time that it's time that that it's time that it should happen. You know, so I just hope that there will be change. I really do. I really do hope that it will change, and I will carry on doing these videos for as long as I, as long as I can possibly can, talking about this whole thing and how I feel. Um, because you know, we got this one life, man. We got this one life. And what this pandemic has told me about is how it's so, how important it is to live life. But we can't live our life being judged by the colour of our skin. That's all I have to say. So if you like this video, please like this video. Uh, subscribe if you're new to this channel. Um, I've got loads of content. Go ahead and check it out. And let me know your comments below. I welcome your comments. Um, I read your comments and, you know, I will reply when I get the chance to. So uh, until the next time video, sorry, until the next video, I can't hardly talk today. Until the next video, people, I'm out. I'm your boy, Theo. I'm out. Peace.